hello and welcome today we're doing a question from the code called valid palindrome it is easy we are going to jump right into it a phrase is a palindrome if after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters it reads the same forward and backwards alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers given a string s return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise so we just want to figure out if s is a palindrome according to this definition right here Example one, we have a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. This is a palindrome because once we get rid of all the non-alphanumeric characters, we would be removing spaces and colons and commas as well, and doing this for the entire input string S through. So once we do that, and then lowercase all of our uppercase characters, we would see that it reads the same going forward and backwards. Going forward, it was a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. And we have this over here too. We have a man, a plan, right over here, a canal, and then Panama. So this is true. Example two, we have race a car. This is false because while we do have the first three characters being the same, so we have R, A, C, and going the other way, we have R, A, C it sort of breaks on the E and A because, of course, going forward, reading this way, we have R-A-C-E-A -E car, and then going the other way, we have R-A-C-A-E car. So it's not the same and it breaks because it's not mirrored, right? We don't have the same characters over here, but everything else was mirrored. So up until then, it was a palindrome, but we would output false. Example three, we have just the space. So this would be true because once we get rid of it, we're left with just the empty string. And reading that forward or backward, it's the same thing. So that is a palindrome. So we have constraints here. But essentially, all we need to do is figure out if our given input string S is a palindrome. Now, this is quite simple. We just need to know how to identify a palindrome. And they give it to us right over here. We just need to see if something reads the same going forward and backwards. So if we have a given input S that going forward, the first three characters are say A, B, C, that means no matter what the middle characters are, it needs to end with C, B, A, because if we want to read it the other way, we need to start off with A, B, C. And then of course, once we get past all these middles, it will end with C, B, A. This means our characters have to be mirrored. Whatever it ends with, it needs to start with, and whatever it starts with needs the same thing to end with because they need to read the same either way. So what we're going to do is actually have two pointers left and right that are going to start on both ends of S. If those indices are equal, we're going to move them down closer to the middle. If they are equal, we keep moving it down up until they meet in the middle. If they meet all the way in the middle and everything has been the same so far, we would output true. We don't actually need to check everything through like once you meet in the middle you know the other ones were also going to be the same characters right you just cover them so we just need to see if all the characters are the same up until the middle if not we would output false if at any point that would break we know we are not a valid palindrome now there is one sort of caveat with this right say we start off with our left and right pointers so say i have this example over here again and I have my left pointer here and my right pointer at the very last index over here. I want to make my checks on every single character, but as soon as I come across an invalid character, something that is non alphanumeric, I want to skip it. And say we had a bunch of non alphanumeric characters in a row, I would want to keep skipping until I see a valid one. So for that, we're going to use a while loop on both of our indices. So for the left, while the character that we are on, so while S of the left pointer is not a valid alphanumeric character, so is L numeric, this is just a function in Python that you can use. So while this is not true, I want to skip that index and go on to the next one. So left plus equals one. And I want to do the same thing for the right. So while S of right is not an alphanumeric character so is alpha numeric and this needs an s over here i want to move my right closer to the middle as well so right minus equals one 
And I only want to do this while left and right are also less than each other. So while left is less than right, and this is true. So while left is less than right, and this is true. Because if that is not the case, right, if left is not longer less than the right, that means we've already met in the middle, and we know we are true. So we're going to keep moving our pointers while these are not true. That means once we are out of this while loop, we know we are on a valid alphanumeric character. The only thing left to do is lowercase and see if the two values are equal. So if they are not equal, we would output false. So if s of left lower is not equal to s of right dot lower, we return false. If they are true, and we haven't gotten into this if condition, then we just move our pointers down again. So left plus equals one and right minus equals one to go back and do this. And we would want to keep doing all of this up until we meet in the middle. So that's another while loop that we will be making use of. So while left is less than right, we would continue doing this. At the very end, if we don't output false, we know the while condition no longer holds true. We've met in the middle and we would return true. And this is exactly what our code will be. We just need to go ahead and initialize our left and right pointers. So left starts at zero and right would start at length of s minus one. So let's go ahead and run this code. It is accepted and we can go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted as well. So let's talk about space and time complexity. For this problem, because we're starting with two pointers and going through our entire S until we meet in the middle, we are going through every single letter at max once, right? So that is linear O of N, because if there are N elements in our input string S, it would take us N amount of time. And for space, we're only keeping track of two pointers, so that is constant O of one space. Now before leaving, let's run through a super quick example. Okay, so I have the following input s as my input deep d comma it peed exclamation exclamation. We want to figure out if this is a valid palindrome. So the first thing we are going to do is initialize our left and right pointer. So left is going to be zero and right is going to be index 16 because that is the very last index right over here. So left starts up here and right is all the way at the end over here. We go into this while loop and we check if left is less than right, which is true. Now we are in this first condition while left is less than right, which is true. And left is not an alphanumeric character. We would increment it by one. It is a valid alphanumeric character, so we don't need to do anything to left. Now we do the same thing for right. Is it a valid alphanumeric character? It is not. It's an exclamation. So we would move right down by one. So that means right is now 15. We just did right minus equals one. So we go back in this while loop, is left less than right? It is true. And is this an alphanumeric character? It is not an alphanumeric character, so this condition is true. So we move right down one more to now be at index 14 and pointing at this D right here. At this point, we go into this if condition and we would lower our character. So S left dot lower, so this would just now be lowercase d. And we see that these two are equal, right? So we never go into this condition because this is checking if these are not equal. So we're out of this condition and now we would increment our pointer. So left points up one, so this is one, and right would now point at 13, so it is now at this E over here. And we are back in this while loop. While left is less than right, it is true. We continue doing exactly what we've done. So while left less than right, and left is a non-alphanumeric character, that is not true. So we do nothing here and same thing for right. We do nothing here. We now check if these are equal. These are equal, so we do nothing here as well. And we just move our pointers down. So left is now two, right is now 12. We move these down and we are back in this while loop. We see that these are valid alphanumeric characters. We don't need to move our pointers and we just wanna check if these two are equal. They are, so we don't return false, we just continue moving. So this is three, this is 11, that is P. We see that these are equal again. We would essentially just repeat exactly what we've done before. We check if these two are equal, they are, they are both P's. 
So we do not return false and we increment left and decrease right by one. So now this points to T and this points to a space. We're back in this while loop and left is a valid alphanumeric character. The right one is not, it's pointing to a space. So we would decrement it by one. So now this points to nine and this is now at T. So once it goes into this while loop again, it sees that this is not valid because it is an alphanumeric character. We go straight into this if statement. We see that the two T's are equal. So we just do exactly what we've done before and move these closer to the middle. This points to I as does this. And again, we would do the same exact thing. So left will now be six and right will now be seven. So this is now at this comma. This is at this space. So we are back in this while loop. This condition still holds true. Left is less than right. And now we are in this over here. Is this a valid alphanumeric character? It is not. It is a comma. So we increase left by one. So left now points to seven and it is pointing at the same thing as R. It is over here. So when we go back into this while loop, we see that left is no longer less than right. So we don't really need to do anything over here. And we go into this while loop now, we see that left is no longer less than right. So nothing to really do over here. And over here, we see that these are the same characters. So we don't go into this if, as well. And we finally move pointers once more. So left is now eight, right is now six. So when we go back into this while loop, we see that it will no longer hold true that left is less than right, which means we've met in the middle and there's nothing left to do but to output true, which means this input was a valid palindrome. So this is how to do a valid palindrome question. We sort of did a walkthrough of it, but if you have any questions about anything at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Thank you.